another video. I'm Chrissy Danielle, and that's it, and this is that. So for today's video, I just made that up. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing my must-haves when I'm getting ready in the morning or when I'm getting dressed like this because, you know, I don't always look like this, <laughs> okay? Basically, just gonna show you guys my must-haves in my bathroom. I mean, because that's where I get ready, so yeah, I think that's the only place that's important right now to do my must-haves. All I'm gonna show is just the stuff that I use, and let me know if you guys use some stuff that you really like or if you use the same stuff as me or if you get any tips from this video because I'm trying to change my channel into more of like a beauty thing or like a self-care thing so if you don't like these videos I'm sorry it's my YouTube channel <laughs> first of all we are going to start off when I get out the shower look at my buns I look cute I'm gonna take some pictures after this y'all I promise <laughs> like y'all give a fuck oh so, okay get out the shower doo, 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 doo. I brush my teeth so I use this toothbrush this is a pulsar oral B toothbrush it turns on but I don't use that anymore I used to but I just don't feel like there's really a difference so I just don't use that part anymore and I brush my teeth with Sensodyne 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 whatever it's called it's almost gone that's why I pull it up like this because I'm smart I use this this is actually the extra whitening one and it doesn't work to be honest it does clean my teeth but it does not make them whiter so therefore it's a lie and I also have a tongue scrubber scrubber I also have a tongue scrubber from aura brush this is from Walmart as well it's like three five dollars I don't know it's not that much though and then I use a lip scrubber so I got these off of Amazon I think they were ten dollars for four or maybe like 13 for four I'll put the price on the screen once I find it but I got this lip scrubber from there so this side's like a harsher side and this is a softer side I try to do this every single day I just got it a week ago so I've been doing it every day this is what I use to scrub my lips because my lips do be dry they be really dry so I use this to scrub my lips Lip. right now I do not have any lip scrub I did have some from a beauty guru influencer whatever you want to call it but I don't fuck with that person no more so therefore I don't have it so it's either I'm gonna make my own or just go buy some but I recommend making your own just because it's like I mean you can make it out of all natural products so I've never had the energy to do that though but I should soon what I do is I just put some coconut oil on my lips and then scrub so that's it that is this so after I brush my teeth I wash my face hold on I grab a washcloth I'm not washing my face because I have makeup on but I use a washcloth and then I use this this is CeraVe it's probably dirty so don't judge me but it's CeraVe developed a dermatologist I didn't read I didn't need to read that foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier I put this on my face so the directions are kind of simple you just put some water on your face scrub it on your face and then whoop this is what I do I grab my thing from Vanity Planet which not a promo was a promo <laughs> i grabbed my thing from vanity planet and i put the silicone brush on it and just go around my whole face this is what i'm gonna use when i take off this makeup and then i take this off and i wash it set it up here to dry and then i put my face in the water and then and then I take this and pat, 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 period. That is a must have. And then after that, I go in with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I really like this stuff, so I use this on my face as moisturizer. Before, I used to use this Rose Facial Toner, which I've had for so long. Do you guys see this? I've had this for a long time, and it's like over half full. I used to take this and then mix it with this, so I would just put some moisturizer on my hand and then put some of this on my hand mix it together so it wasn't so thick but in the last couple days I have tried just putting this on by itself and I'm actually not as bothered as I thought I would be me personally look like my buns are messed up whatever I'm the type of person that does not like very sticky thick stuff on my face nor my hair I wasn't comfortable with using it by itself but I have been using it by itself lately and it hasn't been causing me any harm so I mean if you want to do that you can and then after that that's it and then we go on to hair okay so first what I do with my hair if I wash it which most of the time I do I grab my brush it has two sides I got this from Sally's it's brush strokes I don't know if that's a brand or not but I take this brush and I take this side the I don't know what the side's called but I take this side brush out my hair now it's really not good to brush out your hair when you have curls because it could mess up the curl pattern but sometimes I just really don't give a fuck to be honest with you y'all see my lashes so surrounded by the way I brush out my hair and then I go under my cabinet and I grab these 
four things. Literally, these are the only and all four things I use on my head. And I'm going to show you guys sometimes because I sometimes use that as well. So we're going to go first. First, I use this Generic Value product. Smoothing Serum. It's compared to Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum. So I mean... Same different. Smooths conditions and add shine, reducing drying time. I put this on my hair. It is like an oil base. Like it's like a serum base. If you know what a serum is, it's like kind of like it's an oil base. I don't know why I said that. So I use this. Then I go in with the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. This is this fortify and restores damage transitioning hair. Y'all know I can't talk. So then I use this. This comes out. I'm going to show you guys. So you literally just need this much. You guys see that? You literally just need that much because it turns into like this white stuff. And then you put it on your hair. <laughs> Might as well use the product since I put it on my hands. And then next, I go in with this Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength 7 Oil Blend Hair 7 Oil Blend Hair and Scalp Oil for Weak Breakage Prone Hair. So this has castor oil, black cumin seed. It has seven different sunflower oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, coconut, castor, flax, soybean, no animal derived ingredients. So this is vegan, period. This is basically, um, I just, I mean, this is common sense i just put it on my hair in my scalp only i don't put it in my hair because when i put oil on my actual hair this is perfect this is like it gives you that shine but it's not oily at all by the way i just want to let y'all know this does not leave my hair oily at all if i were to put this or like a spray oil in my hair oh no you'd be able to see it it looks like my hair is stringy you know that stringy look and then after that i go in with my shea moisture coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse i just take a little squirt squirt pew, 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 pew. So none of these products I actually rub into my hair. The only ones that I do is the oil because I feel like the oil needs to get rubbed into the scalp. So therefore, I use that for scrubbing. Other than that, I just scrunch my hair the whole time. I'll flip it forward, scrunch, 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 go back, scrunch, 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 scrunch. Like that's all I do is scrunch. I do not just rub it into my hair. So sometimes I use this too as well. This is the, I don't even know what brand this is. I got this from Walmart. It's a hair polisher styling gel. So sometimes I use this if I want it to look extra extra crispy so but I barely use it so after I'm done with that I take and this is what I've been doing for a minute now just to let you guys know this is not something that I just tried out one day and was like oh I'm gonna make a video like I've been doing this method for a long time and my hair always comes out looking good today it didn't come out looking good only because I did not blow dry it I should have blow dried it I let it stay wet and it was super frizzy that's why it's up in these little buns right now I take my diffuser and I put it on my blow dryer I forgot what it was called I always forget what it's called so I put this on my blow dryer and then what you do is you do this go around your whole head do 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 make sure it's like oh uh, like 80% dry make sure the scalp is dry though the scalp being dry is very important because then if you keep the scalp wet and dry the bottom then all that will weigh down and it just doesn't look cute that's all I gotta say. And then after that, after I'm done getting everything dried, 80% up here, I take my hair and I go like this. I could just like do a reenactment. So I grab my hair, put it on here like this, and then I scrunch up, scrunch up throughout the whole head. And then my curls look great. If I can find a good picture, I'll post it on the screen. But if I can't, I'm sorry. It does come out really great every time that I do that. So I did want to mention this because I was on Instagram live and I was using this on my face. I use this anywhere, to be honest with you. Anywhere I need to use it, I use it. I was using this on my face face though because and that's what I do when I take off my makeup I'll put the makeup remover on my face and I'll let it sit for a second and then I'll spray my I almost just spray my face and I would have been so irritated because I got makeup on but I spray my face so then it could get all in there and then I take one of these and I just wipe it all off and then I go in and wash my face I just feel like that's more convenient for me versus me trying to get in with my fingers I just like to do it that way but I got this from Sally's that's the reason I'm talking about this so it is a mist spray it's a mist spray. I like it a lot for my hair because when you're spraying with like a spray bottle, it's super wet and gets everywhere and it gets in just one spot directly and doesn't really do the job. So I got this from Sally's Beauty. I'm pretty sure you can find this anywhere, Amazon, probably not Walmart, but a lot of people were asking me where this was from. And I just wanted to say, because a lot of people were coming on my live and being like, where'd you get that from? And then I'd say, and then like 10 minutes later, where'd you get that from? So I just wanted to say real quick where I got it from. I got it from Sally's and I love it. But I do use it on my hair a lot. Like right now, if my hair was like super dry or looks super dry but she kind of does but i'm not doing the most right now i would spray it and it's super quick and that's about it so the next thing i will do is my baby hair so i have 
two different things that i use the most of the time i use this one so this is just a jam um it's a regular hold condition and shine gel i don't like my edges to be glued down okay like i literally do not like them to be stuck to my head so i do like them to be able to breathe and still get moisture at the same time and condition so i use this it smells so good i don't know if it doesn't smell good to you guys but it smells good to me i use that and then i will take this brush this is a bamboo edge brush i got this from the beauty supply store i don't remember which one and i'm pretty sure if i said it just your local beauty supply store like beauty supply store. i know white girl sally's like we talk about like m&m's remy like any of those good ones like that's where you're gonna find one of these hopefully i use a bamboo brush and bing 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 you guys see my edges period my hair's falling out so don't talk about me if you really just want some edge control i did get this from the main choice and as you guys see i've been using it for a very long time it does work good to me but i've just been super into this lately for like the last like month or two so that's what i've been using but i will use this if i wanted to actually hold and then like i mean if we're really talking about my must haves this is a must have <laughs> This is my life, okay? I have like 10 in my head right now, but this is definitely a must-have. Next thing we are going to talk about is my lotion. So this is Aveeno Daily Moisture Lotion. It nourishes dry skin and it's fragrance-free. If you did not watch my feminine hygiene video, I suggest you do so you can get some tips because you might think you know everything, but if you watch my video, you might not. So you might learn something. So this is the lotion that I use. It doesn't, it's fragrance free. It doesn't smell like anything. And it's super, I'm not like a thick lotion type of person. So this is perfect for me. But I also sit in front of a fan while I'm putting lotion on. Don't ask why. I really can't even give you an answer if I have one that it makes sense. And then also I got this thing right here. So this is a must have as well. All my Q-tips. I got this from Shein actually. This just looks like it's to come off i got this from she in it's just a hold all of your things and i love it i don't know it's just something i don't know how much this was i'm pretty sure it wasn't more than five dollars so but you can find these anywhere but i just like it because it hides it it's not all like it's not all sitting like this looking crazy so it's super compact and like hidden and that's about it and then another must have is my lashes so as you guys can see these are my lashes they're so serenity that's the brand these are called extended so when i launch make sure you get some extended these are clearly my favorite ones i wear them all the time i don't even wear anybody else's lashes no more honey i wear mine so i mean i still support stop but i support myself too gotta brand myself honey lip gloss by me as well this is called crystal it is clear as you can see it does have a little shine and sparkle to it mm -hmm. there you go that's it that's it guys oh it's raining outside let's go outside <laughs> that's all for this video that i just wanted to show you guys my little must-haves in the kitchen <laughs> Ooh, it's running hard. I hope my power don't go out and my phone's finna die. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you follow all my social medias. They'll be on the screen. Make sure you follow my gaming channel. I'll put the link down in the description below. And I have a TikTok if you guys did not know. So make sure you go follow my TikTok because I'll be on there dancing. That's it, y'all. Bye.